Hi, and welcome to the tutorial. I've been asked a lot of comments lately on Instagram and on TikTok. What mods do I use? Hey, I want your mods. Uh, I really don't care about the show, I just want the mods. So I'm just gonna go through this video and break down all of the mods that I have and I, what I've used and tell you uh, how to use them. Some of the mods are ones that Afma has used in her series, so yes, if you want to use these for series or role plays, go right ahead. They're not mine, but I'll give credits to the owners and stuff like that. There's also other tutorials on MC Horses YouTube channel. He's the one that made Blockbuster and has thousands of tutorials on how to use them and yes no he's not updating the mod anymore so it's only 1.12.2 but that's okay you guys can still use them and you can still go to the tutorials and stuff like that all right before we start this tutorial i want to let you guys know the resource packs that i use for this uh for my videos and stuff like that I use two of them the first one i use is one that i've made with a bunch of friends when we first had our uh, first studio the other one i made is called kim's pack but i based it off of lapis point so if you guys know Lapis Point Texture Pack or like the, the map that's used, that's the resource pack that I use for all my My Street videos. The ones that I use for my Minecraft Diaries videos is Pure Beady Craft. It's the same one as this one, just some of the items in here are changed to my liking and to uh, Minecraft uh, Texture Packs from Minecraft Diaries. Uh, you can use any resource pack you want, but that's the one that I usually want or use. Um, so Lapis Point and Pure Beady Craft if, everyone, um, if anyone asks about that anymore. The first mod that I'll be showing you guys is the More Players mod. This mod is by itself a really good mod for importing skins and editing the skin model and stuff like that. Your model yourself by yourself by its own. This mod does not compat with the Blockbuster mod just because the Blockbuster mod is a better version of putting skins and models and actors and stuff like that. More player models is just for cosmetics so if I hit F12 you can see all of my skins that I've already imported like here's some of the characters from my series and stuff that I've been working on. You can import any skin you want. You could also have different body parts, horns, claws, different kinds of things and stuff like that. I don't use this much just because it doesn't compat with the Blockbuster mod at all. But as you can see, when I wear it just as a cosmetic, here's all of my skins um, and stuff like that. There's other things that I'll be talking about later. But for right now, we're just going to turn into ourselves and I'll tell you guys the rest of the mod. The second mod and most important mod is the Blockbuster mod. That one's right here. Most of these blocks do not work anymore just because they work inside um, a command and trajectory. But the play button works, the model block works, I don't think the actor works. But these blocks here are the chroma blocks. Um, these blocks help me do green screens. This one's a bright color and if you have shaders on it kind of glows. The dim one does not glow. As you can see the bottom's not glowing, but this one's glowing over here. So these I could use for green screens. You can use any of these color for green screens. Some of the videos that I've done, a person in a black space or a white space, I just make a giant cube with these blocks here. As you can see they're perfectly white and then perfectly black. So I could be able to do a dark space or a white space that, that the character is in and that way it can make a otherworldly feel if you know what I mean. Okay, so now that we've talked about those, I'm going to talk about the model block here. This model block, this model block allows you to create scenes for where your actors are going to act out and stuff like that. Model block just helps you model the block, kind of move him to the side, everything like that. Uh, model editor. This is where you can go in and edit your models. I have a bunch of them already in here. Um, the one I use is the Fred one. So I could import any skin that I want. If I wanted to go over here, I could go into Fred, Afmao characters, and do Afmao My Street Season 1. And there she goes. She's already on here. She's on the Fred model. Um, but if I wanted to make this guy into that skin, you would click on him, go to pick, um, and then I would type in Fred because that's the one I use, and then hit edit materials back here in the corner pick skin you would go and find your skin that you want to put on them and there you go now your model block is that person and you could edit them any way you want you can go into model editor you can move their arms around stuff like that go like this and stuff like that there are more tutorials about this mod on MC Horse's Blockbuster channel. If you guys wanna go check that out, I won't be going into far depth just because there's so much to cover 
in this mod. If you guys want to find everything that is part of this mod, please, please go to the Blockbuster channel, MC Horses mod channel, and learn the rest of the, uh, the mod. I'm just showing you guys that I use it and I use it for my things like that. I will be showing just how I do the ears and stuff like that, like the cat ears and stuff. Um, just because I know a lot of people are probably like wondering about that. So first we're gonna go into the model box, pick Fred. We'll do we'll do the Yafmel. First we're gonna go change the skin to Kawaii Chan because it fits the world, you know what I mean? So we'll go into Kawaii Chan. And this is how you add the ears and tail to a model or to a person. So we're gonna right click to her, we're gonna go to edit. Down here we're gonna go to body part and then hit the add new body part and we're gonna call this head. Um, we're gonna click on it and it's gonna be a head. Then we're gonna hit pick and you're gonna go find the ears that you probably put into the mod um, and stuff like that. Go to edit. You can see that these are the ears that I have. Let's go back to Kawaii Chan. You see how the ears are a little bit messed up? Well, you can you can translate them and stuff like that. Her ears are a little bit weird, so you're you're gonna have to scale her down just a tiny bit. So I usually do 0 0.7, um, just because that one seems to fit the most. And then let's rotate her ears back into place and move her ears forward. And that's how you put her ears on. The next thing you do is pretty simple. You just hit another body part. We're gonna do it as body. Hit pick. Go to the tail and then go back out and you see how the tail's super super huge um again just scale that down to 0.7 that one seems to work the most and then we can rotate it around and move it into the position we want it to be moved into and there you go her tail is now on her so when you go back out you can see that her tail is on her and her ears are on her and they will stay with her as well another example of how to say show that they go with her if i were to go in here and make a new scene and hit pick and I picked her and then I hit record this little thing will pop up where you can record yourself I'm going to click on here it's gonna start recording in five seconds or you can change the, how the time it is and voila I am now Kawaii Chan and I have ears and a tail doesn't move uh, just because I don't know how to animate it that yet at least you can get your ears and tail in game and then once you want to end your recording you just click the button again your recording is now ended. You're probably wondering how to start and play the recording that you just did. Go back into zero or this menu here and we're going to attach the button. So get this button in your hand, go back to the menu, hit attach and then hit done. And once you right click on it, you will now see the recording that you just made with your character moving around. So that is the blockbuster mod. The third mod that I'm going to show you guys is one that can go with blockbuster and that is the aperture mod so once you're done recording and everything you're probably wondering how am i going to record this how am i going to be the cameraman and record this well once you hit the play button and hit a button to that is key bound mine is comma um you're going to find a recording in here click this play recording editor find your recording put the timeline up and there you go you can hit f to make fly mode so you can fly around so once you hit play, you can see your person moving around and stuff like that. Though you cannot really move the camera, right? Well, there's two different things that you can do with this. What I usually do here is you can change the emotions or skins of the person. So if I were to go to the very front, right? If I were to go to the very front, right here, you see her face is normal. If I went down and hit add and went down to morph, I can pick her model and then go to materials and change her skin to a different emotion that I've made, like this star smile. We'll go ahead and make it that way, and then once we hit play, you can see that her eyes change at the time in the timeline. So that's how I usually change my skins while I'm acting, so I don't have to personally change through them when I'm recording the video. I can just easily go into here later and change the face later on. The second part of the Aperture mod is the Minima mod. The Minima mod allows you to do camera movements. In the past, I used to play out my recording and all of the emotions, and then I would go out and hit start recording from the replay mod. I do not recommend the replay mod. For HD skins, for Blockbuster, the replay mod is not the best mod at all for this concept be because the skins can glitch out, Blockbuster can glitch out once you go back into the recording, and even modded blocks will sometimes be a creeper plush or some 
broken entity. So I do not recommend the replay mod for this. Do not use the replay mod for your recordings. It's not the best. So minima mod allows you to do camera movements. So right here, if I click on this and I did a path, you can see that my path is very long. I can just dim it down a little bit, you know, but this allows me to do camera movements within a certain range of the video I'm playing. And you can also save the camera profile and access them um, here and stuff like that. And then once you're done recording and moving your camera around, you can hit this and hit record and it will start recording your scene that you just did with all of your camera movements there. There are more instructions on how to use this mod on MC Horse's channel. So please, again, I will say this again, please go to MC Horse's channel and he even has a discord if you have any questions that he can answer. Him and his team can help answer for you. I'm just giving a basic show of how I do kind of my things and how I record all of my TikToks and stuff like that. The next few mods I'm gonna show is more of like building blocks that you can use for your world, cosmetics, weapons, stuff like that, items that you can use for your players and for your world. So the first one I'm gonna show is Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. By the way, all these mods are gonna be down below, so go check them out. Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod is an easy furniture mod that anyone can use. It's not like DecoCraft. It's very hard to use for people with low computers because it will crash your game multiple times. If you can use it, then you can use it. But if not, I would recommend going to Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. He has so much stuff in here. Uh, seats, crates, furniture for rooms, uh, kitchens, outdoors. There's even little items here and a crowbar if you wanted to, you know, murder someone, but um, you know. The second mod that I have is Phones Alpha Mod. This one adds in all different technological like items and phones, watches and stuff. So if you see any one of my characters holding a phone, it's probably from this mod. There's other phones here. You can see Google Pixel and stuff like that. There's Samsung phones. There's also other devices like gaming. There's the Nintendo Switch controls. Um, Nokia is also in here and Sony is also in here. This is what I use for my characters' devices and things that they can just hold. So this next one that I use is DRP Decoration and Medieval Mod. This adds in a bunch of medieval assets. There's chairs, there's firewood piles, different things that you can use. There's even water buckets. This one also has um, a bunch of like house buildings. There's roofs. There's windows. You can use these for building medieval towns and stuff like that. There's also utility that you can use. Some of these actually do work. Some of them don't. So if I were to place this down, you can see the anvil. You could actually make things with this one. There's then the grindstone. You can turn it, spin it as fast as you can while holding a sword. I think it will grind whatever it is. There's also a pot that you can put stuff in. There's a butter churn. You can make recipes and stuff with that. Most of these you can use for just decoration or if you want to actually put them in your survival world, you can use them. There's also food that you can make with these as well. Here are some of the equipment. There's a bone war horn. There's a telescope. I think the telescope actually does work. Yeah, so it's kind of like Optifine. You can zoom in however you want with it. Kind of like an Optifine tool. And then here's the miscellaneous. Some of these things are only allowed in creative though. So you can't really get these in survival. Right here, here's the creative only tab. You can see the regenerating ore. There's also wooden keys and stuff like that. Only creative are allowed with those ones. The next mod I'm gonna show is pretty simple, pretty easy to use. I think everyone can use them and their computer will hopefully not crash when they use them. This one is Bibliocraft. This adds in custom bookshelves and stuff like that. Also another furniture mod if you wanna use it. Um, there's also frames and painting frames. This is how I get my custom pictures on the walls. There's also armor stands and stuff too. There's also different lighting if you want to use some cool lights. Here are some lights that you can use in your world. The next mod is a biome mod. Biomes of Plenty. I bet everyone knows this one. There's hundreds of thousands of different blocks, trees, ores, plants, and there's also creatures from this one that you can play around with. We're not gonna, we're not gonna spawn that one today. This one I use for a bunch of plants, trees, and woods that I use of different colors if I ever need it. Mm -hmm. Some of them I use a bunch of the ores like Emerald Seeker. I will use a bunch of this uh, or here. I think the next and most important mod that I use and Aphmau uses and a bunch of other people use is the Chisels and Bits mod. This mod allows you to make super, super tiny details in different kinds of blocks. So if I were to grab a grass block, 
or let's grab a better block. Let's grab concrete. So if I were gonna grab concrete and put it on the ground here, here's a normal block of concrete. Here's a one that we're gonna bit. Go to the chisels a bit. You could also make these in survival as well. We're gonna grab a diamond chisel and we're gonna grab a prismarine block. If you hit alt on your keyboard, you can see all these different options. There's single line, plane, connected plane, material, region, same material, cubes, mm. and then gridded cubes right on the sides here. There's also undo and redo buttons just in case you mess up. But first we're gonna we're gonna make a little little smiley face. We're gonna make a little little guy happy. And you see that I messed up just a little bit. You can right click on this block and you can get the the block you need. There's a little smiley face. So there is a chiseled block and a non-chiseled block. This one, if you click on it and grab it into your inventory, you can have it and place them around anywhere you want. You could also place them this way. There's a clipboard. Anything that you build or make with chisels and bits will be right here in your clipboard. This one's from, these ones are from my other world that I've been working on, but you can see I can still clipboard these in and edit them any way I want. You can find more tutorials about that there on the internet, but this is just the mod I use for most of my building. And I use these for blocks and details that Minecraft doesn't really give ya. The next mod just adds in NPCs to the world. So if you're doing a scene and you're in a very populated area and you need some background actors, some that are not gonna be important, some that you're not gonna be working with over there, uh, you're gonna go to custom NPC tools this mod allows you to create your own NPCs, uh, make them walk around, change them. You can also give them different tasks, locations, quests. So if I were to grab that NPC one and click down right here, it makes a person. Um, you can see that I can edit them however I want. Uh, usually they spawn with eyes, so I would just turn off those eyes. You can show and hide the name if you want to. You can add in different skins that you want. I'm, I can put one of my skins here, but I'm not for the tutorial just because it shows the URL. But you can put any skin here. I just recommend when you put a skin in there, either go to imgur.com or you can use Discord to get the URL link of your skins that you want imported onto the NPC. There's also different options. You can give them stats. There's their AI. You can give something to them like an inventory. Give them some wings, give them, you know, give them a chicken. Advanced, you can give them a role or a job. The roles for NPCs that want to be sitting is puppet. This is where you can move them around and puppet the person however you want standing in the background. So if it's a character that's not important and you just want someone in the background to just be standing there, you know, doing his daily jobs or stuff like that, you can edit a person to be like that. And they could also talk to you. This is what Aphmau used in Minecraft Diaries with all of the script and stuff before she actually had voice actors, which I think is pretty cool that she used this kind of mod. Kind of gives a little bit of role play to it, building characters in her own way and stuff like that. Kind of cool. The rest of this mod, the builder block, I recommend using if you, you know, want to make builds. All you do is place this little sucker down and there's a bunch of schematics that you can go on. Previewing them is a little iffy, just because it's a little laggy, but you can preview the uh, the builder block anyway. And then any NPCs that are in the world, you can make them build the house that you want. I've used this in a bunch of videos in the past, though I don't use it anymore just because uh, Blockbuster is the way to go. But if I need an extra NPC, I will be using the custom NPCs mod. This part is going to talk about DecoCraft. So if you're a person that can use DecoCraft on their computer with all of these mods or just by itself, you can go ahead and uh, watch the rest of this part here. If you cannot run DecoCraft, you can go ahead and skip ahead. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to show this, but go ahead and skip ahead. So we're going to go to the props. You can see that there's a bunch of different props here. You could also paint them to like different colors. I haven't tried that yet. Here's a bunch of the music props. This is for the bathroom. This is for a bedroom. I use this some of the time. This is for outdoors, like hide and seek maps. There's also pride flags if you want to go for that. There's dungeons. I know Sky's used a bunch of skeletons in his uh, do not laughs, you know. Uh, hi, Jerry. Um, continue on. There's also doors. There's hundreds of different types of doors. There's also food. Uh, there's the cheese and stuff like that. There's the holiday 
uh, mod kind of stuff. You can always add in some presents and stuff like that. There's Lucinda's uh, witch cauldron. I know you like using that. There's stuff for the kitchen, all of the essentials for it, seating. There's also lighting, stained glass. All of these lights do in fact work. So if I was to place this down, I could turn it on and off. It would be better if it was nighttime than you could see me turning it on and off. Let's see, let me turn it to nighttime and you can see that it works. So all of the lamps and lighting and deco craft do in fact work. Um, if you want to use that for any of your uh, series and stuff like that instead of torches, because torches aren't really the best to put in your Minecraft house in a modern society. So putting a lamp is probably the best way to go. There's also living room. I would be careful with one of these items. I know the fish tank gives me a lot of lag when I put it in my world, so I'd be careful about the fish tank. Um, a lot of these are used for great things. Market, you can use these for crash registers. There's office. There's also this, which is little, uh, little, little people. I know there's one that I absolutely love to have in my world, which is the little Stacy Plays doll. Ta-da! I've actually met her a couple times, which is super fun. So seeing her in the game is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of adorable. Um, but you can look at all of the YouTubers different here. Here's Delirious um and stuff like that you can always go through them there's religion there's science signs there's sports so you can do stairways there's different props for storage uh here's the ones that i use for the pc and the laptops all the time so if you want to slap down a pc here you go you got two pcs here's a laptop that i've used in a bunch of my series and stuff like that there's also toys i've used a bunch of these toys all over the place in the background like the unicorn plush I use the unicorn plush and the llama plush I use that one in a lot of my videos if you guys look in the background you'll see these little guys chilling back there staring at you waiting for you to sleep to eat your soul there's also trophies and toys for the yard and stuff like that there's even like a little dog house that is the rest of the deco craft mod so if you want all of these things you can go ahead and get the deco craft mod if your pc does not run well please i do not recommend getting the deco craft mod because i used to suffer with it so i don't want you guys to suffer with it the next very important mod that i use is the flat colored blocks mod this mod allows you to pick any hue of any color and have it as a block meaning you could have any color you want you don't have to go scrimmaging through Minecraft's uh, blocks over here to find the perfect color. You can just go into the mod over here and grab the perfect hue and color that you want for your build. Um, there's hundreds of them. This also works with the chisels and bits. There's also transparent blocks. And then once you get farther down, there are glowing blocks. This does work with chisels and bits. So you can chisel and bit any color you want with this mod. So I definitely recommend getting the flat colored blocks if you're going to get the chisels and bits mod, just so you can have every color available to you. For those people that want update to Blockbuster, but it can't because of the newer versions are unavailable for it, but you still want those Minecraft versions that have things that aren't in 1.12.2, definitely get the future versions mod. This mod allows you to get things from the future updates in 1.12.2, meaning in 1.12.2, I can get netherite. Even though it's not available yet, I can still get netherite. There's also trident. It does look a little weird just because the model's not really put in or anything like that, but you can still use it. There's all of the blocks here. There's the old campfire, the lecterns. This one I definitely recommend if you're going to want 1.14 and up version blocks in 1.12.2. I definitely recommend it. The rest of these mods are just ones that I use for fun um, or I might have it in a scene, but web displays allows you to have a TV screen in your Minecraft. So if I were to go like this and make a little screen, there we go, I could turn it on and it shows web displays. You can connect um, a sensor, laser pointer, you can get your keyboard out, stuff like that. You can link it all up. Um, you can find tutorials for this mod as well. This mod is super simple if you want a TV screen in your Minecraft world. The next one is kind of like chisels and bits, but it's not really. It doesn't have a lot of bits. This one's going to be the chisel mod. This one allows you to make different designs and patterns for blocks that are in the game, like different patterns of andensite. There's different patterns for basalt. You can change different patterns to uh, the spruce blocks and stuff like that. So different ones will have different designs to them. 
There's different ones of bronze. There's also carpets. You can have hundreds of different designs of uh, carpets. So if I were to place these down, you can see it matches up. This one's really good for decorations as well. Um, some of these blocks are a little bit weird, but you can still use them. There's different uh, blocks of concrete. There's also void stone. This one's pretty cool. It gives you like a little endery kind of feel. Some of these blocks do actually move. Um, like this one here, this is a fan, factory fan. And this one's a factory block. You can kind of see through it and everything. I bet you guys also remember these blocks from the Do Not Laugh series of Sky. Uh, they use these blocks a little bit uh, and a lot. Uh, seizure warning if you guys uh, can't look at that, by the way. Um, but it's a lot of it's a lot of rainbow colors. It's a it's a lot of colors. Um, but you can definitely use those for your builds too. Maybe like a maybe like a rave party, you know, club ice. The next one I'm going to show you is very important. I use this for most of uh, the Minecraft Diaries weaponry because they're already in the mod. I don't have to mess with the textures or anything or try and make my own self. This one's the Varied Comedies mod. This one allows me to do things that not a lot of other mods do. So there's the couches, there's the blood block that are used for role plays. Um, you can see that this, these are normal builds. The items, here are some of the items. You can see that there's the guitar that Aaron used to play. A bunch of these are the different spells from Minecraft Diaries and uh, her relics and stuff like that. There's also the chicken sword from the chicken shaman, you know what I mean. There's the pendant that was always used in the background as well. And then if you go to the weaponry mod, here are all of the weapons that Afma has used in her uh, in her series. You can see the demonic sword and the frost sword. So these ones, this one's Lucinda's weapon. And yes, you can actually point at it and shoot off a spell. Um, I wonder if it's gonna shoot. Yep, you can definitely shoot with this one. So that's Lucinda's weapon. We also have uh, the demonic sword that Eren used. This one's a smaller version. Then we have the frost sword, which Aphmau used for her Irene. And you can go through this and scroll down. There's also guns. Um, you can see the giant shuriken. By the way, this giant shuriken despawns very slowly. So if I was about to chuck a bunch of these out here, you can see that they're all just sitting there and they all move and they're they're all kind of entities. They slowly despawn after a couple minutes. So don't throw too much out. It might lag your world just a little bit. If we go down a little bit more, you can see there's different types of weapons. There's battle axes, war hammers. There's the daggers. These are the daggers that I've seen Dante and I think Lawrence use at one point. There's also scythes and the glaives that we've used in a bunch of our other series. The broadsword is the ones that you're going to use for Eren or for Aphmau because they are bigger than the other small swords. So, I mean, if you want to give Eren a big sword, you might as well give Eren a big sword. You know what I mean? Other than the weapons, there's also armors. You can see all the different types of armors. Yes, there is a cow armor. This one's just for a joke. You can see that there. There's also crowns. I know Aphmau used these little crowns. The crowns are a little messed up, so if I were to put this one on, it's the yellow one. And if I were to take it off and put the yellow one on, the yellow one's the purple one. So they just got the textures mixed up just a tiny bit. So you just have to figure out which one you're going to want to use. But And also there are the skirts that I know uh, Ross have has used in the, in the past. So... He's got a skirt. Alrighty, those are all of the very important mods that I have used. You might have seen some mods that I did not talk about. Those are just for decorations or mods that I just wanted to have on. Um, just because, you know, they're a little, they're a little fun. They're a little fun. You can download any mods that you want um, that can fit your roleplay series or anything like that. You can always go into Discord servers that have Minecraft communities and you can ask people what mods they've used. I know I'm in a couple Minecraft content creator uh, discords so I can get information for you guys from there. I hope that this list will definitely make sense to you guys. I'll put the list or link to all of the uh, mods that I have down below so you guys can check that out. Also considering some things, please do not copy other content creators work. I know that that is a little iffy in the field right now. If there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, either in a different tutorial or a different video, please let me know down in the comment section. I know it's been a long time since I've done tutorials, and this one's kind of a big one since there's a lot of mods that I use 
for my content and other content creators use the same thing. If you guys want in-depth tutorials about Blockbuster or Aperture, I do recommend continuing to go to MC Horse's channel and watching all of the tutorial videos. He goes in huge depth on how to do everything that the mod offers. I really do hope that this guy helps you out in the future and helps you out with your roleplay series or just hanging out and having fun with your friends. Maybe doing a do not laugh or a never have I ever or just chilling in a world where you can roleplay together. Please again if you have any questions comment them down below. Thank you guys so freaking much for all of your, your support and all of your comments and love. I very 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 much appreciate all of them. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I hope this helps. I love you guys. As always, make sure to take care of yourselves. Bye!